Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbeek. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. We're going to start with the euro against the dollar. An immediate countering bearish arama yesterday after the previous session's reactionary combined bullish piercing line pattern and bullish opening white marabozo. In addition, it was the lowest low and low close since early early November 2020. The drop was halted by the important 50% Fibonacci line of the June 2020 to January 2021 move at 117.58, much as the market has been supported since the middle of last week. Overhead, we have the significant June 2018 high at 118.51 and the middle time of the 2021 bearish Andrews pitchfork currently at 118.35. Looking further below, below the 50% Fibonacci line, we obviously have the provisional target X1 uh, at 117.05 and X2 at 116.15 as an initial and final target of the last three four weeks bear flag formation. Separately to that, we have the old neckline from the August to September 2020 continuation head and shoulders pattern, currently at 117.18, though I'm not sure how good that will be. Then there's a lesser Fibonacci level at 116.94 and the lower time of the bearish Andrews pitchfork currently at 116.27. And then the significant longer term continuation lower diamond trend line. Right, that's from December 2019 to May 2020, the super diamond pattern currently at 116.09 and is now entering the frame. It's worth paying close attention to this lower trend line as the upper trend line halted the rise back at the following dates in July, August, September, December last year, in January this year. So far today, a punch down through the 50% Fibonacci line at 117.58 and a move towards the old neckline below, though tentatively. Cable aka sterling against the US dollar. A bearish dark cloud cover pattern yesterday, prompted by the market trying to push up over the overhead short medium moving average currently at 138.21 and trying to hang itself onto the broken December 2020 to March 2021 uptrend currently at 138.47, much like washing on a clothesline and failing. Below we have the familiar congestion zone, 136.5 to 137.5 from January and February, which now has the rising medium moving average currently at 136.44, about to enter it from below. Further down under the medium moving average, we have the supremely important lower time currently at 135.90, the late June, late September 2020 bullish shift pitchfall. This lower time along the middle time above, currently at 140.49, have given the bullish angle of this attack of this market since September last year. So far today, not much, a little bit higher. It seems the market is being a little tender about re-entering the congestion zone below right now. Euro sterling. All still quite tense here and interesting as well. A lower indecisive spinning top that still managed to make the lowest close since February 2020 and with a long tail below has also managed to reach target X2, the target for the second quarter of 2020's head and shoulders top in the 85.15 area. However, it did not manage to stay there, but it did manage to close below the recent descending triangle for the first time, if only just. The descending triangle is made up from the recent broken downtrend, 85, it's, it's currently 85.67, and the flat congestion, 85.45. We still have two of the three original targets below. Target X1 in the 84.75 area, the target for the recent sideways triangle, and target X3 in the 84.5 area for that descending triangle pattern itself. I've left target X4 above on my daily chart, the target for a possible break upwards of the descending triangle. This is in the AD715 area. Uh, the reason why? Well, if there's one thing I've learned about patterns is never underestimate the chances for another false break. So far today, a further dip lower, slowly, 
away from the base of the descending triangle and towards target X2 again. US dollar against Indian rupee. A bullish engulfing pattern yesterday after the previous session's narrow hanging man action. The move up was quite important. It was the first close back up over the combination of the middle time, currently 72.62 of the October 2020 to February 2021 bearish Andrews pitchfork. And the interesting 50% Fibonacci line of the July 2019 to April 2020 move at 72.64. The market then didn't quite make it to test the sidelining short medium moving average currently at 72.83 but it was an important move higher nevertheless. Overhead, we have a preliminary topside target X2 for the recent falling wedge pattern in the 72.60 area. We also have target X1 on downside of the same pattern in the 71.25 area just in case. So far today, a stronger follow-on higher from yesterday's action up through the short medium moving average and even over the descending medium moving average currently at 73.23 which is where we're just sitting at the moment further above we now have the important upper time currently 73.54 of the bearish andrews pitchfork us dollar against the brazilian real a fifth bullish white soldier and a continued move higher away from the flat base of the recently fulfilled bullish ascending triangle. The most interesting feature here were how the market halted at the old October 2020 high at 580.70 and then closed just under the middle time currently 579.82 of the recent mid-January to mid-March bullish Andrews pitchfork. The next resistance beyond this is the March high itself at 587.85. US dollar against the Mexican peso. An indecisive doji cross yesterday. I've cautioned over the last week or so how the market was getting wary of traveling too far higher. As overhead we have the ominous presence of the slowly declining long moving average currently 2101.45. Yesterday was the latest result of that wariness, as the doji cross had a long tongue on top. That was capped by, of all things, the dipping short moving average, currently 20.75.67. The base of the action was held up by the old combination of the congestion at the 20.60.62 area and the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 20.58.49. So far today, well, nothing really seems to have changed. Caught up by the congestion below and warily trying to move higher, but without enthusiasm, it seems. Further below, we still have the other combination, which is of the 2021 uptrend, currently at 2045.33, and its partner, the short medium moving average, currently 2039.93. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit.